a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Star! What a uh, 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 I'm always silly when I'm doing that. I know, I know. Prologue! The Bounty Hunter! One of the classes I haven't done on my channel. The Great Hunt begins. While the Sith Empire and the Galactic Republic scheme against each other, a bloody contest rages in the frontier systems. Mercenaries from across the galaxy compete for the privilege of entering a dangerous manhunt where they must capture or eliminate the most notorious and elusive targets. In the polluted swamps of Hutter, a tough young gunfighter teams with an aging bounty hunter to secure an invitation to this deadly struggle for fortune and glory. Dot 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 dot. Yes. Done every single class. Well, apart from the Jedi Knight, which we're still kind of doing. But I haven't ever started a bounty hunter. Yes, I did that class special, but we need to. We need to finish this. We need to do the Bounty Hunter now, and then finish Jedi Knight, and then I would have done every single class on my channel, per se. Yeah, so that's why I'm doing this Bounty Hunter playthrough right now. I'm going to record as much as I can, uh, and then it'll trickle out over the next few weeks, basically. Yes. Oh, on our way to Hutta. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I will say... You will be a little bit surprised on the race I've gone for. Um, but all will be explained in sort of the sort of story I had in my head on how this kind of happened. But all will be revealed once you see the race I've gone for. Let's get rid of that. No, did I just turn it on? I don't know. Did something. Here comes that dangerous music. Dun 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 dun. Is something meant to be happening? Oh, I was going to say, something meant to be happening. Is there meant to be a ship there that I'm not seeing? No. Ah, oh, graphics look so dainty, uh, like from five years ago. I mean, you look at the graphics in Kotet, Kotfi, they look so much better compared to what they are, like, five years ago. Dun dun. Dun dun. Sorry, I'm being weird, I know. <sighs> so yes, ladies and gentlemen, she is a Sith pureblood, which I thought was quite interesting. I I wasn't originally going to go for Sith pureblood, but it just looked right for some reason because I don't know a Sith pureblood being a bounty hunter that just seems weird, and I liked that. <laughs> I really like that, so that's why I've gone with it. And I love her face. Her face looks sad. When I was creating her, her face looks sad, which is kind of what I wanted. We're almost set up. See if you can't get that security network running and make home. Sure thing, Braden. We'll be. Uh, hey now. Hey now. Hey, indeed. The main attraction is here. Team, this is the girl we're pinning all our hopes on. Good luck with that. Best shot I've ever seen in Nerves of Steel. She's great hunt material, all right. What do you say, Hunter? Ready to meet your team? So, the way I'm just going to play it is just sort of chill. Not over hyper, just just chill. Just just chill. My team. I like the sound of that. That wasn't going to go to plan, but hey. To win the great hunt, you'll need support, structure, and intel. Let's do things official-like. This is Mako, little genius I picked up years ago in Nar Shadda. She provides intel and tech. Hi. I hope you're as good as the old man says. I hope so. And the big bruiser is Jory. He handles the heavy lifting and provides security for our base of operations. Greetings, Marchechi. I'm at your disposal. Feel he free to make us all incredibly here. wealthy and famous. Uh... Yeah. Are you and this little girl an item, Jory? I'm not sure what you mean. Item? Alright, enough introductions. Down to business. We're here because the Great Hunt has been called. Little Mako is the most rabid fan of Hunter history this side of Geonosis. And even she doesn't know exactly what the Great Hunt entails. I do know the names of every Great Hunt winner, though. 
Bloodworthy, the Defenestrator, Jewel and Nightbringer? Every bounty hunter who's won a great hunt went on to massive glory and riches. Which is why we're here. You can keep your glory. I just want to be rich. You see? This woman understands the way the galaxy works. Here's what I know so far. The Great Hunt has two groups. The Mandalorian Elite and freelance bounty hunters sponsored by influential crime lords. There's no time to make you a Mandalorian. That means you need a sponsor. Nemro the Hut runs this stinking little town. I've got just enough pull with that gangster to get you an introduction. Mako, scan for every bounty in the area. I want the nastiest, most brutal, untouchable scum you can find. I'm on it, Brayden. One nasty character coming up. We need to get you situated as a big-time hunter, at least as far as the locals know. Then we contact Nemro. Mako will plant rumors about your off-world exploits. But you have to take down someone impressive and local to sell the reputation. Exactly how do you plant rumors? Do you just sort of go... Does Mako, is Mako just going to go around and be all like, Hey, hey, this girl, yeah, she, she did that. Yeah, go pass it on. Or does she sort of like put it on the holonet and, you know, someone just comes along with it, comes along and says, like, Wow, I've got to tell everybody. But hey. You better know what you're doing, Brayden. Or what? You'll go find your own hut contacts? Maybe. Don't worry. I know the score here. Found something. Check this out. Vex, Corellian. Champion quick draw artist. Wanted for robbing 15 Imperial military pay stations. Of all the places to get credits, why would a sane being rob an Imperial pay station? Perfect. This Vex is either a madman or a glory hound, and he's obviously dangerous. It says here Vex has a safe house in the bad part of town, right in the heart of the madness. That'll be fun. Nemro the Hut's enemy took over part of this town. It's dangerous poking around in there, but it's your best shot. Raid Vex's safe house and look for something that might help us track him down, but be ready for anything. The rest of you get to stay here. We're setting up the support system so you can build a reputation. Now get to it. All right, all right. I will do. I will do. So, right. Let's 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 do this properly, shall we? First of all, where's my sprint? Where's my sprint? Thank you. Jesus, sprint always usually appears here, but not this time. I take my hunter's boon, and we'll go to Kofi. Lovely. Um, let's actually go outside first before I show you everything I need to show you. I have gone the wrong way, as I always do. I literally have no idea where I'm going. I'm going this way. Sweet. Okay, so, um... I need to get some level boosts. I know that for a fact. I may need to do the planetary stuff, but, like, off-screen again, as usual, like I usually did in my, my Jedi Knight and whatnot. But, hello! Yes, this is Kastarth. She's a Sith Pureblood, as you can see. So, like I said in the introduction, I kind of just wanted it to be like a race which you wouldn't kind of expect as a bounty hunter being a bounty hunter. And she comes from a bit of a sort of sad background. That's kind of why she has a sad sort of face. But she likes to be a little... She tries to cheer herself up by trying to be funny every now and then. She has a pretty good sense of humour to a certain point. She has a bit of a battle scar. You can't really see it. It's like here. Uh, but it's hidden by her hair. And that's why she has her hair like that. Um, but yeah, she overall, she kind of has a sad face. Which is quite nice. I like her having a sad face. Yeah, and she doesn't look too Sithy either. Her eyes aren't yellow and Sithy. They're just kind of just normal eyes. She's, I wouldn't say she's a Sith in any way. She's just Kastarth. She's just Kastarth. She's basically just trying to get money and make way in the world. So she doesn't. F At the moment, she feels like she doesn't fit anywhere. So she's took up bounty hunting, and yeah, she's gonna see where this leads. That's that's her story. It's a sad one, I know. Hi, how you doing? Hide outlaw. Well, you're not getting your money. And dead. Thank you for the bonus experience. Pick that up. Uh, we got a data pad. Return to Brayden. I do need I do need an experience boost. I may need to go into my stronghold and get myself an experience boost. But we'll do that, I don't know, another time. He lied. Because you know what happens every time he says so. He's going to do something. He never actually does it. Brayden, guess who's back? Back again. 
I'm just saying I want to go on some missions. My blaster aim is pretty good. Anything's better than sitting around with you and our gear. No offense, big guy. Don't take a little one. You are young and still crave adventure. Hey, look who's back. How'd it go out there, girl? Find anything? How'd it go out there, girl? I'm not a girl, I'm a woman. Vex left a data pad at his safe house. Great, give it over and I'll see what I can make of it. You show much natural skill. I'm honored to join you on the great hunt. At least until I find a real crew, anyway. Wow, you just offended everyone. Don't listen in the room. to her, Jory. She thinks her mean streak passes for a sense of humor. Hey, Braden. How was Nimrod's palace? We getting our hunter in to see this hut? I've laid the groundwork, but we're not there yet. What have you got? A data pad from Vex's safe house. Crack the encryption in record time. Check out that last entry. Our boy Vex keeps detailed records. There's a receipt here for a shuttle ticket he bought today. We'll have to move fast. Only the boldest make it into the Great Hunt. And Vex is a bold target. He's a champion gunslinger. Completely ruthless. What do you say, Hunter? You ready to take down Vex all by yourself? We need to move fast, so guess what? Let me just explain who he is. I'm always ready. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. If you head out now, you'll catch Vex at the shuttle port before he escapes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's Bring go now. Vex's ID tags is proof that you're the one who got him. Okay, let's go. Anything else he carries is yours to keep. All right. Good luck, Hunter. Speed and accuracy be yours. We are all depending on you. Yes, if you could stop talking, I could actually go and get him. But, you know, yeah, yeah you just... Yeah. 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 I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, yes, I am a power tech. Why? Because uh, my other bounty hunter is a mercenary, so my male bounty hunter is a mercenary, and so the female one, by all means, has to be the opposite, which is power tech. So, although to be fair, I could just do heroic missions. Yeah, I'll just do heroic missions to get myself leveled up. Why the heck not? Vex, are you here? Well, you're here as well. Some thugs. Oh, a bonus mission. Do I bother? Well. Vex is going to be all the way out there, and um, if I remember rightly, you can just skip past the majority of these. Uh, so there's those three there, there's these three here, which I do have to kill by all means. Um, and then those I do need to kill, level three. Hmm. So maybe I should do the bonus mission. Well, let's see how many I kill by the time I get to Vex, because I swear you could just like sneak by. Nope, guess not. Yeah, so that's that's nine dead, and then Vex is up here. Hi, Vex. Also, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do. I don't I haven't decided if I'm gonna do dark side or light side. I think I did light side on my bounty hunter, so I think this one gonna be dark side. Yeah, just let's let's play on the fact that she is uh, a Sith pure That yeah, she is a bit dark. She's funny, and she's sad, but because of her sadness, she makes bad decisions. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Huh? What's this? A lawman of sorts? Never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered by a brute enforcer. A law woman! Crikey. I'm not sure dashing is the word you're looking for. Ha! <laughs> but I know something you don't. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh, no. Oh, no! Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick-draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears off so fast, you won't even hear yourself scream. Show me. Ah! Cheater! Well, you said it. You said you were the quickest draw in the galaxy. So why didn't you draw me by the time you saw me? I mean, seriously, Vex. Come on now, and I'll take his ID tags, and, well, I mean, Caden said anything else, so can I take his ship? I could definitely sell this for a lot of money. No? Hmm. See, I, pro I get problems I can take anything, and yet I apparently can't. Guess who's back? Back again. Hey, old timers, I'm... Jory. Brayden. What happened? 
is the old man. Uh... Somebody is going to pay for this. No. The old man's really dead. But, but he... Oh, oh, damn it! <laughs> Just kick his head, why don't you? Wait, you had something to do with this. Excuse me? Are you crazy? Why would I kill them? I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just... I've been with Brayden for years. I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. I just can't believe he's gone. I mean, I did have a reason. Maybe I've been paid off. You never know. I guess this is my welcome to the business. I just never imagined. But I, I can handle this. I can. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. Why is there such dramatic music right now? It's not Sithy music. Blasted. Someone's tampered with the recording. I can still get some of it, though. Here we go. Move and you're dead. Now if you know it's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Oh, I know precisely what's good for me. Winning the Great Hunt won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Tarot Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services. Won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you Tarot Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. <laughs> ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course, that will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Vibroblade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kunta Chuta! And your mission is a failure. Your quarry is not here. And now revealed, your hunt has failed. You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up-and-comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so-called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Jory, shoot the kill! Too late, old man. Should have killed them when they were That's talking. Scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. Plus, didn't they have guns already pointing at them? Somehow they dropped their gun. Oh, come on. The big mouth running the show claimed he was Tarot Blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Tarot Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. We need to find this man, Mako. He needs to die. The old man always said this is a thinking job. Know your enemy, then target his weakness. Tarot Blood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. That seems simple enough. The thing is, Brayden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. Nemro the Hutt is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Brayden is... is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This'll take every favor I can call in, and I'll need the tags from your bounty. Should be enough for two burials. I didn't know them well, but I'd still like to pay my respects. No time. You've got to get to Nemro fast. Brayden would understand, and Jory would insist. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now... You'll have to make an even bigger impression. Will do, Nemo's somehow. Nemo's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace, and you'll score points with the HUD. Okay. We'll... Oh. <laughs> okay. 
there was a weird for some reason there was like a survey that appeared um, on my screen and uh, it took me to my desktop for some reason for some reason that appeared in front of Swotor yeah lovely level 4 I'll take that and I will wear that even though no doubt I can get but actually didn't they get yeah they got rid of the crystals and currency see I, I worry about that now it's gonna be so empty currency bit now they got rid of data crystals and everything like that can anyone stop jumping around please what is everyone excited for god oh how delightful don't you love graphical glitches Ah, oh, how beautiful beautiful okay it's pretty more intense why why are there so many graphical glitches right now huh that's very weird are there gonna be more going out here nope they've also it seems to have uh <laughs> it was like a forehead was the center of it <laughs> hilarious right I need to defeat two street captains uh that's just a gangster a gangster where's some captains captain captain who's got the captain captain love oh well I killed them pretty easily works for me and I'll kill you too okay that's that done as well cool you were even you were even standing there and they weren't attacking you how on earth were you doing that he's still standing there and still standing there you're weird and yes don't worry I will find some gear for a Kastath by the time she leaves Hutter I like to give my characters their gear after they've left Hutter that's sad no they found them on their way to uh, their, their next You're location, perhaps. For so, for example, I don't know it was on the shuttle to Drome and Cass or Coruscant. Something like that. Oh, yes, what do I want to... Oh, yes, what do I want to commit to? I, I think Pyrotech, personally. I don't really want to be a tank. I've always got to be damaged. I cannot tank for the life of me. I mean... There was one time I tanked in World of Warcraft, and I did okay, but I think I preferred just to be a DPS, thanks. Thanks anyway. Hey, Judah. I like talking to you. Hello there. Something I can do for you? Maybe. I'm getting the lay of this place. New here, huh? No problem. Don't mean to be rude, but I need to finish crunching these numbers for Namro. Uh, I'll let you get back to them. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. Uh, and you? Sort of, I think. But bye. Do I get to talk to you again? Good to see you again. Ah, oh. yeah. Well, I mean, it's only been like five seconds since you last saw me. But hooray! And of course, every hut. Has some babes in some slave dresses. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I was gonna go for Zabrak, but I still thought, nah, I wanna go for an assassin. Uh, assassin? Oh, pure blood. I keep thinking they're Sith assassins, but they're not. Boss, little woman come to beg for mighty Nemro's attention. Be polite, Karnas. This bounty hunter has been sweeping the filth from my town's lovely streets. Yes, it's so dirty and lovely. Excuse him, he lacks manners. He stands in the court of Nemro. All you see in Jaguana is under my authority. Welcome. Some citizens here need more respect for your authority. Troublemakers, they are no threat to me. Let us talk about you. Lovely little Mako called to explain your situations. Let's cut right to the chase. You want sponsorship into the Great Hunt? I can provide that. But why should I? Mako says you are you are a famous bounty hunter. That hardened men run ju and hide just hearing your name. But Mako says a lot of things. Mako said you're a powerful hut, Nemro. Was that a lie? A good liar always sprinkles some truth among fabrications. You want to prove that you are this fearsome manhunter? I will give you that chance. I have targets here on wonderful Hutter that need eliminating. No problem for one with your reported skills. The first head you will bring me is that of an Evakai. 
one of those useful, useless, sniveling natives. You don't have soft spots for the primitive tribes, man, do you? Just get to the point. Watch how you talk at Nemro! The Evokai sold us this world to for trinkets. Now they take up arms against their rightful masters. It's disgusting. One Evokai dares call himself Hutzbane. He raids my holdings and hides in a swamp village. Place his head on my floor. I could bring in Hutzbane alive. A nice prisoner to show off. Women should not be bounty hunters. Women soft. Oh! No prisoners! Bring me a head, or don't come back. Kill Hutzbane's followers, too, but leave their heads in the village. Go now. Be careful, little bounty hunter. Hutzbane once blasted into other palace, killed pile of captains, murdered a mighty hut. One day, I do hope I get to kill you. Or, you know, someone like you. Someone similar to you. Dunno who, Scratch. but one day. One day. Can I talk to you again? Good to see you again. Alright, thanks. I think we will go and confront Hutzbane, and then we'll leave it here for this episode. Do you lot agree? I know you don't agree, you want to watch more, but I'm sorry! I got to. Isn't it level 5 that I can get a mount? If I'm remembering correctly. Uh, well, I mean, I know we're near level 5 right now, so... I guess we'll find out come level 5. Although, I need... Ooh, I need I need my abilities. Is there a mailbox? There's a mailbox over there. So let me go get my Dr. Ogrub. Oh, handy. Welcome to Rise of the Hot Cartel. This data crystal has lost its data and is no longer has a value. Sell it to a vendor. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, we've got a rocket punch, we've got a searing wave, and we've also got combustible gas cylinder. Where is a combustible gas cylinder? Um, I guess that's like already there. It's a passive ability. I've also got um Nico a car. But I can't get him yet. Oh he has joined me as a companion. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Can I have him out for the moment? I can! So wasn't me. Let's just pretend I've known Nico a car for however many years now. You He's my friend. Later. Maybe. Maybe. Of course, he's just going to be a background character. He's not going to be a main character. He's just going to be... He's just going to be a straggler. Basically. Yeah. Why not? As you can tell, I like to have an explanation for everything. Like everything. Well, just, 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 just who I am. Whoa! Whoa! What was that ability? That was amazing! Searing wave. Talks to everything in a 10 meter radius. Beautiful ability. I want to use that again. Now my biggest question is... Will Nico a car appear in cutscenes? I guess there's only one way to find out. Well, first, say wave. I just said wave rather than wave. Still, call ability, and I'll take that as well, even though I do not need it. But any experience is good experience. Hudspain. Nope, Nico a car will not appear. Nemro found someone with no morals to destroy my village. Are you proud of yourself? Not really. Filthy murderer. Will you butcher all the women and children as well? Uh. Nobody else needs to die but you, Hutzbane. There is no reason to kill Hutzbane. The Huts would slaughter us like criminals when it is they who have taken what is not theirs. Yes. This planet was home for Evil Kai long before the Huts came. You were a warrior. You must understand why we fight for our birthright. If you've got a pitch, hurry up and make it. You see, Hutzbane? Not all outsiders bow before the Huts. You are here for Hutzbane's head. But Nimro does not know one Evokai from another. Dead warriors' heads all look alike to him. You would desecrate our dead and give it to this? To an outsider? Uh... Won't Nemro be suspicious when Hutzbane keeps raiding? From this day forward, our young warrior will aid his people from the shadows. No! There is no honor in making deals and butchering our own dead. 
Calm yourself, Hotsbane. I fear this outsider will best you if it comes to battle. Today, we must place survival above honor. Outsider, will you take the head of a dead warrior as a substitute? If I get to slice it off your dead warrior's shoulders, I'm in. Some things cannot be said and go unpunished. Come and fall under my blades. That'll do, I guess. Warriors, rally to Hutzbane. But, wait, but, but Hutzbane attacked me. He attacked me. What? You saw, you saw him attack. But, uh, oh well. I get to take your head instead, I guess. Uh. Hey girl, it's Mako. Got some information for you. How are you holding up, Mako? Better, now that I've got a lead. The man who killed Brayden really was Taro Blood, a big shot from Alderaan. After he washed out of the last Great Hunt, Taro spent years building up support with the Mandalorians. The Great Hunt is a Mandalorian tradition. Entry rules are different for their people. Since Taro is a Mandalorian, he competes with them to enter. Now, he's buying off the other Mandalorians so they don't gang up on him again. I'll avenge Brayden, no matter who I have to go through. That's what I like to hear. For now, concentrate on impressing Nemro. His sponsorship is your only chance of getting close to Taro blood. Oh, one more thing. While I was out taking care of... saying goodbye to Brayden and Jory, I caught someone following me. He was dressed like some off-world tribesman, tall, wore a white bone mask, like a death's head. This fella try to come after you? No, but he could tell I spotted him. Anyway, eyes open. Go show that HUD who's the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Will do. But first, I need to quick travel to where it was. Mm, I was thinking, which is the quickest way to quick travel? I'm gonna guess there. Well, no, no, that takes me inside, so I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna guess there. I don't wanna go inside and spend more time getting out of the building. It's funny, really, how when you choose something, it never ends up the way you want it to. So, it's just, it's funny. You know, I, I was, I, all I said is like, yes, as long as I get to do the hacking, and he was all like, how dare you, and then he attacked me, it's like, oh, come on. It was either that or your head, and I guess it's your head, so. There we are. Woo! I jumped that. Hi, Judah. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, too. I'm gonna do that every time I walk in this area. Nemro, guess who's back? I'm not gonna say it because you know what I'm gonna say. My little bounty hunter She's returns. Not like dead savage. Then it's true. You killed the famed Huntsbane. Tell me of your hunt. You asked for a head. I went and got it. So simple was it. One time might be luck. Your next target will not be so easy to reach. Though he shouldn't put up much of a fight when you find him. How much do you know of what is happening here on Hutter? Let's pretend I don't know very much. The upstart Farthrug lay claim to things that are mine. He moves against my factory, sends his scum to make trouble in Jaguana. Some fools think Farthra is becoming a stronger hut than Nemra. One is Yolt, my ex-accountant. Yolt now works for Farthra at the factory in the rust yards. The accountant must die for his betrayals. You're kind of a one-solution hut. I like things simple. After the accountant Yolt is dead, take a set to the cantina. Yolt's wife works there. She encouraged his disloyalty to me. Give Yolt's head to her. Um, Harassing people isn't usually in my line of work. If you're going to the Great Hunt, you must be willing to do anything, little girl. Vathra protects Yolt behind a blast-proof security door, but someone smart like you might find a way in. Go! Show Yolt what it means to cross Nemro. See Judah when you want credits. 
She pay you for dead savage. Oh, Nico's in the cutscene this time. Oh. Hi, hi, Nico. Good to know you do appear in cutscenes. Ooh, an experience boost. Even better. Do I get the speed of piloting? No, I don't. So that must be level 10 then. Uh, I have no idea. Judah! Yeah, I think I've got something for you. You think? You know. Did you hear about my job? I did indeed. Very impressive. Here you go. Credits for the head of Hutzbane. Good work there. Thanks, Judah! Cool. Now take that. And the dark side points as well. And another experience boost. And a shield. Great! We'll leave it here for this episode. So, do remember... Uh, if you haven't watched my channel update, I am moving house. So, these episodes won't appear that often. I, I'm not going to see if I can just do like two a week. Maybe it might even have to be one a week for the next few weeks. And then once I'm in my new place, then I could properly start playing this. But this is just sort of like say, I am still making videos, just not many whilst I move. But for the time being, say goodbye, Nico. Toothpick? Yeah, to totally. And thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.